Let's continue on with our golden algae. Now some of these are going, some of these slides are going to be very short because <clears throat> there's just not a lot to say about them. Um, plus, you know, it just, it drags on and on because there's, there's so many different species of algae. So starting uh, today with our golden algae, the, the phylum is called Chrysophyta. Chrysophyta is unicellular, but it can live in colonies. Remember, colonies are where the unicellular organisms stick together to make one mass. And they can be found in freshwater or marine. Because they have a goldenish brown color, the carotenoids are their secondary pigment. Now remember, chlorophyll is going to be their primary pigment. But what gives it its color are their secondary pigments, and that comes from the carotenoids. Chrysophyta is characterized by having two flagella. And these flagella are always attached at one end of the cell. Now, all of our chrysophytes, that's what they're known as, are photosynthetic, but there are some species that can absorb some of the uh, dissolved organic compounds through their cell wall. So, um, that's a little bit different than the other ones, but most of them actually are photosynthetic. Now, they're asexual and sexual reproducers, although the sexual reproduction is pretty rare. And like I said, these can live in, in uh, fresh water or they can live in marine water.